Hi guys. So I am going to be working on a two foot by three foot uh, black gesso canvas. Uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby. They had a 50% off sale. So I figured why not go big, right? Um, also, I picked up a, another wonderful silicone swiping tool that I use to do my ninja swipes at Michael's today. They are in the cake decorating aisle on an end unit at my location. Um, just a couple of bucks and easy to clean after you swipe through everything. Um, right here, I'd like to say thank you to Wilma Jones and Jean McKinney for their generous donations in my uh, PayPal uh, me account. Um, it helps greatly to continue doing the artwork that I am absolutely in love with. Once started as a hobby and now it has taken over our home. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a ninja swipe today. I'm going to use a slew of different colors. I have um, colors that have been mixed up for a little while um, and colors that I've mixed up in the last 24 hours. So this is a uh, rose by Arteza. I mixed it three parts Floetrol to one part paint. This is Pearl Sapphire Blue by Arteza. Also mixed three parts to one part. And I have Prussian Green by Arteza. Um, also mixed the same way. And in here I have a little bit of leftover from previous painting a couple times ago. Um, the Prussian Blue by Arteza. So I think that's all I'm using by Arteza today. Um, other colors that I'm using are just, I have like 12 cups of paint back here that uh, leftover paint. So we'll see if I'm going to use them all, but I'm, I'm not quite certain. Uh, I do have the 24K gold. I will be using that. It's my automatic cell maker that I love to use. It's, it's not mine, it's by DecoArt Extreme Sheen. I say mine because I have, it's in every painting, basically. Um, a new paint that I'm using today, which was um, equal parts Floetrol to paint, is, I think it's PBO, and I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's their flor no, metallic green. I don't know what I did with the container that I used. I moved so much around. Um, oh, here it is. It's right here in front of my face. Uh, it's iridescent green yellow, and I mixed that approximately equal parts. I did add a little bit of water to it. Um, it is really nice, beautiful iridescent color. Um, I'm also using Ceramcoats Metallic Navy. Uh, which is equal parts Floetrol to paint. And it comes in a bottle like this. I got that at Hobby Lobby as well. Um, let me see, I'm using Basics Cobalt Blue and Bright Aqua Green as well. They're, they look fantastic against the black background. Uh, I'm using Ceram Coats Metallic um, blue, sorry, I had to think about it because I have two that are very similar, but this is Ceram Coats Metallic Blue, uh, whatever's left over in there. And what else? So I think right now that's about all we're going to list off. Oh, and I'm apologizing. Artist Loft's uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue. You know, it looks like a turquoise to a, or a teal to me, but it, it's beautiful on the canvas. So we're going to coat this and then I'll be back and uh, we'll get to moving along. Again, uh, my PayPal me account is below. You're welcome to donate to um, my mission to make beautiful art for you. And I wanna thank Wilma Jones and Janine McKinney once again for their generosity. All right, so we will, uh, we'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so we are back. We've coated the canvas and now to play with the colors. Um, I meant to mention I'll be using a little bit of white and quite possibly a little bit of the uh, fluorescent violet. So, all right. 
Can I have a drink? I'm going to do it a little more closer to the center and down a little bit just to help with movement of the color. That was the uh, turquoise metallic, actually metallic cobalt by Artist Loft. That is Purple Flash. This is Rose by Arteza. That was, and prior to that was the uh, Metallic Gold Deco Arts 24K Extreme Sheen. All right. Where's my light? Here's my light. This one's so big. <laughs> I have a cat eating over there and I'm nervous. You better move. Um, let's see here. An array of different colors might be too much but who knows all right we used up one that's good Do a little green. This one is gonna be a mess. <laughs> okay, here we go. I love it, it looks so cool just like that, but you know, we gotta wreck it. We gotta give it a nice swipe. And I'm gonna come over on this angle. No kitty, no, no. All right, looks fabulous. I can't wait to start working with this. All right, we're gonna go this way. And bring it back down a little. Move it around. Actually. <laughs> I 
You got some on the floor. There we go. That looks really pretty over there. I'll show you guys after. <laughs> This is so cool. I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick. I don't want to get any of the paint dripping from my fingers or anything onto the canvas. This has so much to work with. I'm super excited. So let's give it a torch. There was something that I usually do that I did not do with this one, and it's because I forgot. <laughs> and it was to um, put the blacks, the base coat, circle the, you know, go around the, the puddle pour, and I did not. So I don't think it's going to make much difference, but there is so much going on in this piece. This is just fantastic. I know it I mean that was a lot of paint and I know a lot of people get nervous when they see that much paint on the canvas they're afraid that it's going to crack it will not crack um, it is it, it'll be just fine I promise you so I'm gonna fill this in because I see a little bit of the bright aqua green here and exposed canvas so we'll do that Was able to scoop it up. Just, I gotta get it off the floor before I walk all over it. <laughs> and my cat came over to it. I really almost got him, and uh, that would be a first. Okay. I think this is probably my favorite one so far. my black over here and bring it over to this corner because I do not want my base drying Before I cover the corners. I'm so happy 
with this piece. I can't even, I can't wait until it dries so that I can coat it. It'll take a little while to dry. A couple of weeks, but when it's done, it's gonna look amazing when I varnish it. Oh, this is just crazy, crazy cool. Give it a little, little bit of detail here and there. I gotta do something with my, uh, thing here. Hold on one second, guys. I'm just wrapping it. I forgot about, um, the paint coming off of the paintbrush. So... I'm just going to tape it up so it can't do that. Okay, we're good. Back in business.
much in here. I don't want to even touch anything anymore. I feel like these dots are like my little signature. I love putting in the little dots at the end and really bringing the painting to a whole nother level of beautiful. There's just enough pink in this piece. too much.
think I think I'm done. So this is um, Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine, um, and I like adding a little extra, I might actually put some in a cup because I want to get smaller dots in some areas. Let me see, here we'll just, hmm. need a little cap, of course I'm not going to find one. So what I'll do is put some on the top of this cup. All right. I just did something with my paintbrush.
Okay, I'm all done. So, let's give it one more torch. And then we're gonna walk away. take gloves off first so I save them because they're heavy-duty black gloves um, they're extra thick and you can rinse them off and use them multiple times thereafter ah, all right I'll show you the box okay so these are The ones that I use, um, I get them from CVS in the bandaging area. So let me bring you guys in. I love this piece. I'm like in love with it. This is a three foot by four foot canvas. And this stuff is phenomenal. Probably my favorite piece at this point in time. Um, using the ninja swipe technique I mean it's just exploding with colors and details are great I didn't want to overdo it but look at this ah. and these cells I wasn't sure how it was gonna come out in the beginning because it was getting a little nervous it's like this is like a little flower here And then all of this right there is just, oh, I'm in love with this piece. It's my favorite one so far. Yep, I've decided. Um, but guys, thank you so, so much for coming on this journey with me. Um, my largest, I think, at this point, Ninja Swipe. And I'm in awe at how beautiful it is. Um, okay, so if you guys would love to be a patron of the arts and donate towards my cause of making beautiful artwork for you here on YouTube, in my video description, there is a PayPal me link where you can donate. Um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, ring that bell, and give me a thumbs up. Share this video if you want. Uh, this is uh, quite outstanding, I have to say. Um, with what I had to work with, I wasn't sure how far we were going to get. But there's just so much in this one that it's... I'm going to look at it for hours. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. You have a great Monday, and that's all for now. Bye. Hey, guys, so I'm back really quick, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the whole piece. Um, and I misspoke a few moments ago. Um, this is not a three foot by four foot canvas. It's a two foot by four, uh, two foot by three foot canvas. Um, so I just, I realized I had said that and I wanted to come back in and uh, correct myself and go from there. But I uh, wanted to point out a few things. I see a fish here and we see another little fish here. But um, I know I painted it this way but I think the orientation of it is going to be this way. It really is a beautiful piece and uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, this swipe right here, and this is the location of where it fell. And I'm so happy that I put down this um, paper towel at the last minute. Um, because I think it saved the wood countertop. But, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Yay!